today it's a rapid application building phase if you don't understand some of these terms please visit yesterday's video wherein we have discussed everything every variable keyword in detail here we are we require http module of node.js we declare a variable called visits and initialize it to zero using http we invoke create server method and then invoke listen method by the using the object thrown by create server now we take a anonymous function and pass in two objects request and response these two objects are served by create server whenever there is a new request found now inside this we increment the value of visits for each new connection inside right head using the response object we assign content type as plain text and pass in 200 as the status code that is everything is okay and then we write in some message slash n is new line character here we will specify the number of visits that is just display the content that is the number present inside inside the variable visits and then tell that the object response that it's the end inside console.log will tell server has been started listen is a method and we reserve 8088 8080 port address for this for requesting for this server now locate the file my file that is count.js has been saved inside a folder called node navigate to that folder and then execute node space file name server has been started now send the request using your web browser localhost and the port address is 8080 send the request note that hello we have had one visits in the consecutive visits the count increases by two that is after one three three after three five that is because the request is sent also by the fav icon here so two requests to the server simultaneously so these increments skips one visit and each time there is a new connection new connection string has been printed here because that is how we have written the node server program here use control c and come out of it and execute it again now request send the request and it will start count from one again one three five etc so this is how you build a simple counter application to keep track of number of visits in other programming languages you just need to save the numbers into the database and then retrieve it that helps in maintaining the actual number of visits even though the server is down please practice this program on your own i know this is the simple program and not so practical we just did this as an illustration for our previous day video that is http server request and response video tutorial please look at that tutorial to understand many of these keywords and functionality please look at that video before practicing this program please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus twitter linkedin etc and do not forget to like this video on youtube also subscribe to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel thank you